As the war in Israel intensifies, officials are now increasing security measures here in Southern California and all around the country. Police have stepped up patrols in areas that serve Jewish and Muslim communities. Los Angeles has the second largest Jewish population outside Israel, and many residents here in Southern California have close ties to the region. KTLA's Omar Lewis is live in the Fairfax district where residents are supporting each other in the midst of the turmoil. Omar. That's right, tonight hundreds of people showed up here to Beth Jacob congregation for a prayer vigil and they were met with extra security measures like security guards and metal detectors. People we spoke to say that added security is comforting as they continue to pray for Israel. No, I couldn't sleep the past two nights. I did not sleep. I'm just praying. For Devorah Leah Wagshul, the conflict in Israel is deeply personal. My father was born in Israel. I went to school in Israel, and our heart is in, you know, is in the East. It's why she organized a prayer rally for children Monday evening at Baiz Bezalel Shabbat with her husband, Rabbi Abraham Wagshul, allowing children the chance to decorate prayer cards for Israel. But for many parents, security was a top concern. Today, when we made this rally, a lot of parents were hesitant to send their kids. We had a, we got a security guard to come and yet there's still usually we have thank God like 75 kids um, there was half of what we you know were striving for because people are scared metal detectors security guards and barricades were out in full force at Beth Jacob congregation in Beverly Hills as worshipers gathered for a prayer service for Israel Monday evening but for Rabbi Wagshul he says there's only one way to combat that rise in hate crimes and violence you know we can't chase away darkness with a stick. We have to chase away darkness by adding in light. Even small children um, here, you know, they see their parents checking their phones and everybody gets nervous and it's very hard to shield the children from that. Um, so we had the idea to have our regular Hebrew school classes today, um, but to do, you know, to do something which would give the children a comfort and feeling of empowerment that even though they hear all this sad news, that they can do something, they can make a difference because, you know, we can't chase away darkness with a stick. We have to chase away darkness by adding in light. And so we made a little prayer card. Um, my, my daughter designed that and they, the kids uh, pasted it on and they decorated their own, which they can say a prayer before they go to sleep at night, called the Shema prayer. We also made a little charity box the kids decorated where they can put a little coin every day. We told them, guys, you know, you guys are far away from and everything going on, but you know, you can ask God to help by adding a coin every day and giving it to a poor person and saying a prayer. And this is how you add light and goodness in the world. And this is a way that we combat terror. Instead of being terrorized and being scared, we add in goodness, we add in happiness and joy. And this is how we defeat those who would have us uh, run away and be living in fear. So this idea that we had, um, you know, to do these uh, crafts for kids came from a very holy rabbi called the Lubavitcher Rebbe, um, who uh, led for many years in Brooklyn. And 50 years ago, during the Yom Kippur War, the famous Yom Kippur War in Israel, he actually led by example and gathered together large groups of children um, for prayer and for charity and for good deeds. And he show he told the world for everyone to listen is that this is the way this is the way forward you know yes 
Uh, many people of all faiths, Jews, non-Jews, whatever faiths they are, wherever they live, are looking at events and saying, oh my gosh, you know, is this world fixable? You know, is this, is this ever going to go away? And the answer is yes. Is that, you know, there are, yes, there are pockets of extremists and, and people that will do um, evil things. And yes, they are there, but there are many more good people in the world. And all that's necessary um, for the triumph of good is for the good people to stand up and do something. Right? And, and make a stand, say a prayer, donate, give charity to your favorite charity that helps um, people that, that are in need. And this is how we're going to make the world a better place. Thank you so much.